hurricane was a one-two punch of natural disasters more than a week ago. A 9.0 earthquake and then a massive tsunami that swamped northern Japan left thousands dead and even more still missing. And as Adriana Diaz tells us, the devastation made it hard to get information about loved ones. Hard, but not impossible. More than 5,000 miles from home, 20-year-old Japanese exchange student Akiko Kosaka feared the worst. She had no word from her family for three days after the tsunami swallowed the fishing village she called home. But then, the University of California student stumbled upon this YouTube video, amazingly showing her sister holding up a sign that says we're all safe. She could hardly believe it. I just want to hear their voice and yeah, see their face. This student, Tatsugi Kosumi, was studying for finals at UCLA when his parents in Tokyo emailed him. We are all okay, so please do not worry. But he hasn't been able to get through to family members closer to where the earthquake hit because they don't have a computer. For Japanese students studying here in the U.S., sites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Google's Person Finder have become a lifeline as they desperately try to track down loved ones. And it's not just the Japanese who are using social networking sites to connect with Japan. These American high school students in Modesto, California, have also been Skyping and texting with students in Japan. They were all supposed to meet each other on an exchange trip next month. I texted one of my Japanese students and asked if they're okay and everything, and like he says, oh yeah, I didn't feel the earthquake and I don't live close to it, so I was like really relieved. I was really worried for him. Right after the earthquake struck, top trending topics like Pray for Japan and Tsunami got thousands of tweets per second. In addition to Google and YouTube, other websites set up missing persons pages like this Japanese news site based in Los Angeles. In the first five days after the quake hit, they got 65,000 hits from people like UCLA student Kasumi Yoshida, who's trying to find missing relatives. I didn't think we'd experience it this bad or see people who we love get affected by it. So even though Japan's an ocean away, thanks to social media, this devastated country remains within reach. Adriana Diaz, Channel One News. Social media has also been used to raise money for earthquake victims. And coming up after the break, in honor of Women's History Month, we take a look at some famous firsts.